How y'all doing? Uh, so, welcome to day one of welcome. the 21 days of encouragement. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. I don't know none of the, of the words, so um, I never bothered to learn the song. Um, that's just the only part I know. <laughs> So today, of course, we're talking about sex, and um, we're going to spend a few days talking about sex, love, relationships, and everything in between. Um, we'll do some other subjects, you know, throughout 21 days, but so today we're going to talk about sex, and so what better place to talk about sex than right here on the bed? Um, so we're going to look at Hebrews, right? Hebrews chapter 13. Um, and particularly when you get Hebrews chapter 13, we're going to look at verse number four. It says, marriage is honorable among all and the bed undefiled, but fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. Now, here's the thing about that, right? You know, we understand, you know, that oftentimes as single people, you have these urges, you have mm -hmm. these, these things that you want to do. And even when you look at it, you know, when you go back to, uh, 1 Corinthians, um, chapter number seven, I believe it is. And you begin to read some of the things that Paul talks about. One of the things that Paul says is that it is better to marry mm -hmm. than, to burn than to burn with lust, you know, and to burn with desire mm -hmm. and passion. And, and then he talks about when you burn, you eventually might fall into temptation mm -hmm. because of all these things that are happening. So my encouragement for today is this. If you find yourself single mm -hmm. and you are in the place where man you just really want some yeah. sex it's true you really I, I mean i was single i was there um i encourage you to really find a group of people um who you can talk to uh, or at least a friend who you can talk to who can help you with this also continue in prayer mm -hmm. but you know what helps is having support from other people mm -hmm. having support from friends because i'll be honest i would read my bible and or pray and it would still be on my mind and if i couldn't call up one of my lady friends to take care of it then um pornography always worked mm -hmm. and masturbation always worked yeah. Um, which the two went hand in hand. So I say all that to say, you know, praying and reading your Bible is good, but sometimes after you get done praying and reading your Bible, the urges are still still there. And you have to be able to identify the triggers there you are. that cause you to fall into or yield to the same temptation. Yeah. Because the devil is not going to tempt you with things that don't bother you. If you mm -hmm. don't have issues with eating candy or issues with um, drinking soda or issues with um, even the same sex attraction, then he's not going to tempt you with those things that may pull on your flesh. Right. But he will tempt you with those things that will cause you to fall into sin. And, and what Paul is saying, he's saying it's better to marry than to burn. But he's also saying it's, it's better to not yield to that temptation. And yeah. if you're yielding to that temptation um, repetitively, then the best thing is the sanctity of marriage, the bed of marriage, which is undefiled, where you can um, express your uh, eros love, yeah. the the lustly passion for your your spouse, for your your husband, for your wife, right, right. so that you won't feel the condemnation that comes after fornicating because there is condemnation. And in this world, there is um, the glorifying of pleasing your flesh, yeah. but they never talk about the, the dirtiness and the guilt and the shame that comes after you completed that act, that comes after you've gotten to that peak, after you have your orgasm, then it's the, the weight of the world. Like, oh, my God, what did I just do? Why did I just do that? Right, right. Lord, please help me. Lord, please forgive me. And, and why do I keep doing this over and over again? Right. So the word is excellent. But also, we want to make sure that we have strong Friendships, strong, godly yes. friendships that say, you know what, I've been there and this is how I got through it. And I want to add this, you know, with the friendships, make sure you get somebody of the same sex. Yeah. Uh, it, 
it don't work out well, I'm just being honest. <laughs> when you got somebody of the opposite sex you're going to talk to and you letting them know, hey, I'm struggling with these, because it puts images and thoughts and things in their head. Then they're, so same sex mm-hmm. friendships are, are what I recommend yeah. personally. Um, and even to piggyback on something that you were saying, babe, you know, I remember, um, you know, we're talking about how being in the word and praying and all that doesn't always stop the urges. I remember as a youth pastor, I was teaching true love ways, right? Mm -hmm. And so me and my youth, we were going through the whole thing. I was running them through scripture and Bible study. Then after Bible study was over, I was taking them all mm-hmm. home. And then by the time I get done dropping them off, I stopped off at my girlfriend's house and I laid it down, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> it's like, how can you go from teaching true love weights to you not waiting yourself? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but like I was right there and I was in, I know I was in the spirit teaching, you know, I was, I wasn't doing it in my own strength. I was just going what the Lord was leading me to do. I knew that that's what the Lord wanted me to do, but then I would turn around and do the exact opposite. So I say all that to say, just being in the scriptures, it's good. Honestly, it is. There's power in the scriptures. There's freeing in the scriptures. But you also need somebody else who you can walk this thing out with. Mm -hmm. So when you're having those urges, you can call on them and say, look, man, I am struggling right now. I need some help right now. Can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? Can we hang out? Can we do something? Like, you know, uh, you need that Mm -hmm. from time to time. Um, Also, when your friend isn't available, I also want to recommend yet again, prayer. Mm -hmm. I want to recommend that, you know, Hebrews chapter number four uh, tells us that we have a great high priest who was tempted in every way in which we were tempted and yet remained without sin. Um, And so he can feel, it says, the very depth of our emotions and the things that we're dealing with. So I want to encourage you, know that you can talk to God, pray to him, and just go to him in all sincerity, in all... Be real. Like, be, be real. And it, it ain't got to be all, oh, Father God, I'm just struggling right now. <laughs> no, just be like, Lord, oh, Jesus. The, mus- the muscles and stuff, oh, they Lord, glistening. Oh, Lord, Lord. They glistening. You know, just go to him for real. And uh, he'll help you out. You know, uh, scripture is very real when it says that there is no temptation of which he will not provide a way of escape. Mm. Um, If you are tempted, he will provide that way of escape. Even now, I'll be very honest and transparent with you and say every now and then I have these urges to go and look at some pornography or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And and it even happened the other day. The thought crossed my mind and I had been battling the thought, Mm -hmm. pushed it out of my mind. And what happened right at the moment when I felt my weakest, my wife called, said, babe, I'm on my way home. Mm. And we talked and we, until she got home, I never let her know I was dealing with it or struggling with it, but it helped in that moment because the Lord, I was praying to him like, Lord, I really don't want to do this. I really don't need to do this. And the Lord just, boom, provided that way of escape. Receive the way of escape. Ah, yes. And recognize the way of escape. <laughs> yeah. Because he could have easily ignored my phone call and and yielded to the temptation. Because mm-hmm. God, he will always. There's things that I remember in my mind where I was yielding to temptation or about to yield to temptation, and the phone rang once mm-hmm. again. Yeah. And that is God reaching out and say, "Hey, you you don't have to deal with that. You don't have the text message pop up on the screen, and you just ignore it." And you keep on doing what you're doing. That's God reaching out to you. That's the yeah. Holy Spirit I've trying to save you from yielding to that thing so that you can be free because you've been praying for that freedom. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been in that place, by the way, where he gives that way of escape. Mm-hmm. I recognized, um, and let's just be honest, I recognized, oh, this must be the Lord giving me a way of escape. Closed that way <laughs> and continued where I was going. Um, so... Let me just encourage you with everything that we've said today. Know that your body is the temple of the Lord. He dwells. He he wants to dwell within it. Mm -hmm. A clean temple. Mm -hmm. And if you're struggling, I get it. I've been there. He's still with you. I understand. He's with you. Call on him. Call on a friend. Hit us up. We'll pray with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're a lady, make sure you hit her up first. You know, either way, we still going to pray with you. But just know, I'm going to pray too. But... Just being real. You need a woman to talk to. Um, you know, you don't need to come talk to the male pastor and be like, oh, pastor, I'm so struggling. 
with keeping my legs closed and you know then he he's a man as well i'm just right. saying you know go to the pastor's wife at your church or you know somebody who you know you can trust who ain't gonna try and take advantage of you yeah um I, I will be very transparent again and say, as we close out now, I'll just be very transparent and say, I have gotten very um, upset, fed up, whatever, uh, with people of God, men of God in particular, who take advantage mm-hmm. of the women and other uh, sexes as well, the males of, of God. It's time out for that. Yeah. So that's why I say, find you somebody who you know you can trust. And as a lady... It's not always that you need to go to your pastor. Find you another spiritual woman within your church, even an older woman who you can really confide in and trust in and, and just... And it's not going to spread your business. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Check that them, is so check important. Check them with the Spirit of God. Check them with the Word of God. Let God put them on your heart. Yeah. Don't just go to them because you see or you admire them and think that they're this this yeah. perfect woman of God let God put it on your heart pray yeah pray for on the outside should, they yeah. may look holy but on the inside they're messy yeah. so seek the Lord as yeah. to who you should yeah definitely well friends listen that's uh what we have for today uh babe you have anything else did mm-hmm. I miss anything we talked enough about sex and we'll talk some more about sex when you meet us tomorrow yes. on day two day two of the 21 days of encouragement yeah Let's you don't want to miss about. tomorrow Tomorrow's going to be good. We love you. We love you. Be blessed. Yeah.